All right, we are finally getting the <laughs> kids' teepee garden planted. We're a little bit late, but we have plenty of time because we live in Georgia. What kind of plants did you guys pick out to put in your garden? Sunflowers, I chose melons, cucumbers, and pumpkins. What did you pick? I chose cucumbers and pumpkins. What about you, Odin? Um, no. no, you didn't pick stuff. You just wanted to go in the house. He wants to go in the house. He can't wait for it to be grown up tall. What about you, Liam? What are you, what are you most excited about growing in your garden? I really just am excited about reaching up for a melon and it is cool size. just but yeah, but like uh, it asking is, you to um, cut, asking it, my mom it to is, cut it and just it, taking a bite it, out of it. You're just gonna take a big old bite out of that melon. Now, wasn't there one of the melons that you chose that was a melon that you could eat the skin? Yeah. So you actually could do that. I really wanted to do that. That's gonna be fun. Once I heard of that, of it, I was okay. I'm too sick. I'm excited for um when the pumpkins are done. When it's when it's October, picking out a pumpkin and carving one. Ooh, that sounds like fun too. Ooh. Now we're only gonna play with the small pumpkins on this vine. Your sugar pie pumpkins. New England pie, is that what you picked out? Um, yeah. And then we're gonna have to plant the big Connecticut field pumpkin somewhere else because they'll be too heavy for this trellis. Yeah. So no matter where you live in the country, July is a good time to hurry up and get your last minute summer crops planted because by August, we're gonna start planting some of our fall crops. So what we did is we looked at our first frost date and we calculated how many days to maturity these crops take. And we said, all right, we have time to plant some winter squash and some pumpkins and some cucumbers and beans and corn sunflowers and all the things that the kids were really interested in putting in their teepee garden. So we're going to get it in the ground and have a late summer wonderful experience. All right, it's getting super hot out here. Kids are getting tired. We got our compost down and we're beginning a little bit of chaos gardening. So we got sunflowers, corn, peanuts. We're just going to go ahead and sprinkle everything around. We did specifically plant stuff under the soil at each pole and in between each pole already some cucumbers and melons and such but we're getting tired so we're just gonna do some chaos gardening what do you guys think of that yes. liam your hair looks like you just got out of the shower I need yeah, help. I it. and that's just sweat yeah all done you want to put them in the ground you sweaty hot boy look at his face is so red Run. i'm sorry we'll, we'll be done in a minute so we're just going to go ahead and cover those seeds, water them in, and see what grows. It's an experimental, fun kid's garden. I'm not worried about it. I have a ton of seed that I've got to use up, at least some of them this year. I'm going to have enough seed for next year too. So we're going to use as much as we can to get as much planted before the season gets too short. Why is everyone throwing stuff at me? Oh, then don't throw stuff. Liam, don't throw stuff. Stop. Stop. Hey, guys, are you getting your chaos gardening done? Yep. Excellent. Yep. We are giving up on cabbage forming complete heads, so we're pulling out little Brussels size sprouts and bigger and uh, harvesting the heads that can be harvested and just removing the rest, putting them in the wheelbarrow for the chickens. I've already been tossing a few over here to the ducks. Uh oh, they're fighting over one. And they are loving it. So it'll be a good treat for all the birds to share and enjoy. Over here inside of all of this giant Thai basil, I have a couple of rescue pepper plants i'm hoping will do something 
now that they've been planted. And then I put dill seed because I need some dill for my cucumbers. And then over here in this bed that's also full of basil, see a theme here in this year's garden? It is um, okra seed I just put in because the okra down in the lower garden is failing and doing awful. So I'm hoping that this good compost will help it be strong and healthy. Over here I have a tiny little seedling tomatoes in this bed and I also put some dill to grow as well. Not looking too shabby. It's been three days. We've got germination popping up all in here. We did have to add a little extra compost on top where the kids didn't do such a great job of covering peanuts. But looking good. We transplanted these flowers to the entrance. I can just see it now. We've got some sand we're going to put in the middle to make it comfortable and hope that this sweet girl who likes to hang out in the garden <laughs> doesn't uh you know make it gross i'm also going to put their rake right here at the entrance so that they can rake it before they play before they go in to make sure if she did do anything they won't play in that i'm gonna say not bad for a kid's chaos garden <laughs>